What time is it? It's prayer time. Today, we gather to reflect on a topic that touches all of us at some point in our lives, sickness and the hope of healing. Whether it's a physical ailment, mental struggle, or emotional wound, sickness can challenge our faith and test our resilience. However, as we explore God's word, we find assurance and comfort in his promise of healing. In the book of James 5, 14, 15, the Bible say, is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And and the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Acknowledging the reality of sickness. The Bible does not shy away from the reality of sickness. From the Old Testament to the New Testament, we encounter stories of individuals who faced illness. Job endured immense physical suffering. The woman with the issue of blood sought healing for 12 years. And even Paul had a thorn in his flesh. Sickness is a part of our human experience, a consequence of living in a fall world. It reminds us of our fragility and dependence on God. While we seek medical intervention and in the wisdom of doctors, our ultimate hope and healing come from the Lord, the compassion of Jesus. Throughout his ministry, Jesus demonstrated deep compassion for the sick. In Matthew 14, 14, we read, when Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Jesus's heart was moved by the suffering of others, and he extended his healing touch to those in need. This same compassion is available to us today. Jesus, our great physician, cares deeply about our pain. He invites us to bring our burdens to him, promising rest for our weary souls. In our moments of sickness, we can find solace in his loving embrace. The power of prayer and faith, James 5, 14. 15 teaches us the importance of prayer and faith in times of sickness. The act of calling the elders to pray and anoint with oil symbolizes our trust in God's healing power. It is an acknowledgement that our faith combined with the prayers of the righteous can bring about miraculous results, but what does it mean to have faith? It means trusting in God's sovereignty, believing that he is able to heal and surrendering to his will, whether that means immediate healing, gradual recovery, or finding peace in the midst of our affliction. Healing beyond the physical. While we often seek physical healing, God's healing extends beyond our bodies. He desires to heal our hearts, minds, and souls. In Psalm 147, 3, we are reminded that God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Emotional and spiritual healing is just as vital as physical restoration. In moments of sickness, we may find ourselves battling fear, anxiety, or even anger. God's healing touch can bring peace to our troubled minds and comfort to our wounded spirits. He is the balm of Gilead, soothing our deepest hurts and restoring our inner being, embracing God's will. Sometimes, despite our fervent prayers, healing may not come in the way we expect. Paul, in 2 Corinthians 12, 8, 9, pleaded with the Lord to remove his thorn in the flesh, but God responded, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Paul learned to embrace his weakness, finding strength in God's grace. In our journey of faith, we too must learn to trust God's will. His plans for us are perfect, even when they involve enduring sickness. Through our suffering, we can draw closer to him, experience his grace, and become a testament to his strength in our weakness. Pray for the sick. Make it a habit to pray for those who are ill. Whether it's a friend, family member, or someone in our church community, lift them up in prayer, believing in God's power to heal. Offer support. Reach out to those who are struggling with sickness. A kind word, a visit, or helping with daily tasks can be a powerful demonstration of God's love. Sometimes your presence can be a source of immense comfort. Trust God's plan. When faced with our own illnesses, or those of loved ones, practice trusting in God's sovereignty. Remember that he works all things for our good, even when we don't understand the reasons. Seek wholeness. Pursue not just physical healing, but also emotional and spiritual health. Spend time in prayer, read the scriptures, and seek godly counsel to address the wounds that may not be visible. Share your testimony. If you have experienced God's healing, share your story. Your testimony can encourage others and strengthen their faith, showing them that God is indeed at work. Practice gratitude. Even in times of sickness, find reasons to be thankful. Gratitude can shift our focus from our struggles to God's blessings, giving us strength and hope. We're getting ready to pray, but before we begin to pray, please do like, comment, and share this powerful message with everyone you know. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification button so you can be notified when we upload more powerful messages like this. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you with hearts heavy with 
with concern and hope, seeking your divine touch in our times of sickness and suffering. Lord, we know that you are the great physician and nothing is beyond your healing power. We lift up to you all who are struggling with illness, pain, or infirmity. We ask for your healing hand to be upon them, bringing relief to their bodies and peace to their minds. Grant them strength to endure and comfort them in their moments of weakness. Lord, in your mercy, touch their lives with your grace and restore them to health. May your presence be felt in every hospital room, every home, and every heart that cries out to you. We trust in your wisdom and your perfect timing, knowing that you work all things for good. For those who are weary, overwhelmed, or fearful, we pray for your reassurance and peace. Surround them with your love and let them feel the support of their community of faith. May your comfort be their refuge and your promises be their hope. We also pray for the caregivers, medical professionals, and family members who walk alongside the sick. Grant them strength, wisdom, and compassion as they provide care and support. Fill them with your love and guide their actions to reflect your kindness and mercy. Father, we trust in your healing power and your unfailing love. Whether healing comes through miraculous intervention or the natural process of recovery, we place our hope in you. May your will be done and may your name be glorified in every outcome. We pray for those who are battling illness, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual. Lord, you know their needs better than we do. We ask for your divine intervention in their lives. Restore their health, ease their suffering, and grant them a renewed sense of hope and vitality. May they experience the healing power of your presence and find solace in your promises. For those who are facing difficult treatments or uncertain diagnoses, we ask for your peace to guard their hearts and minds. Help them to trust in your plan and to feel your comforting embrace in their moments of fear and doubt. Strengthen their faith and surround them with support from loved ones and caregivers. Lord, we also lift up the families and friends who care for those who are ill. Give them strength and endurance as they provide support and love. Provide them with wisdom and patience and let them feel your presence as they navigate the challenges of caregiving. We ask for your healing, not just in physical terms, but also in emotional and spiritual aspects. Heal broken relationships, soothe troubled hearts, and restore hope where it has been lost. Let your healing touch bring wholeness and renewal to all who are suffering. Lord, for those who are enduring chronic pain or long-term illness, we ask for your sustaining grace. Infuse them with strength and resilience and provide moments of relief and encouragement in their journey. May they find comfort in knowing that you are their refuge and strength. We also lift up those who are struggling with mental health issues. Grant them peace and clarity and surround them with a supportive community. Help them to feel your presence in their moments of despair and to find hope in your promises. Guide them to resources and support that will aid in their healing process. Lord, let us not lose sight of the hope we have in Christ. In times of suffering, may our faith be strengthened and may our trust in you be unwavering. Help us to rely on your promises and to draw near to you for comfort and encouragement. Lord, we ask that your healing touch be upon those whose bodies are frail and whose spirits are weary. Revive their strength, restore their health and grant them relief from their suffering. Surround them with your peace and let them feel the comfort of your presence in their darkest hours. We also lift up those who are awaiting treatment or recovery. Guide the hands of doctors and medical professionals and grant them wisdom and skill in their care. May their efforts be blessed and effective, leading to healing and renewed health. Lord, for those who are facing physical ailments, we pray for complete restoration. May your healing power flow through their bodies, alleviating pain and bringing renewed strength. Let them experience your touch in a way that brings both physical relief and spiritual renewal. Father, we pray for those undergoing significant life changes due to health issues, including job loss, financial strain, or altered daily routines. Provide for their needs and guide them through these transitions with your grace. Father, I pray for God's healing touch on those suffering from illness, asking for physical restoration and relief from pain. Lord, I ask for strength and endurance for those battling chronic conditions that they may have the resilience to face their daily challenges. Father, I pray for wisdom and skill for doctors, nurses, and all health care providers involved in the care of the sick. Lord, I request peace for those undergoing surgeries or invasive procedures and for calm in the midst of uncertainty. Father, I pray for complete restoration of health for those dealing with serious illnesses, asking God to renew their bodies and spirits. Lord, I seek comfort and solace for those mourning the loss of loved ones due to illness that they may find peace peace in God's promises. Father, I ask for emotional and mental healing for those suffering from anxiety, depression, or other psychological
psychological impacts of their illness. Lord, I pray for strength, patience, and encouragement for family members and caregivers who are supporting their loved ones through illness. Father, I request God's provision for those struggling with the financial burden of medical expenses, asking for relief and support. Lord, I pray for spiritual renewal and comfort for those whose faith has been shaken by their health challenges. Father, I ask for God's blessing on medical treatments and therapies that they may be effective and lead to healing. Lord, I pray for clarity and wisdom for patients and their families as they make important decisions about their health care. Father, I seek God's mercy in alleviating pain and discomfort for those suffering from severe or chronic pain. Lord, I pray specifically for the healing and comfort of sick children and for the strength and peace of their families. Father, I ask for perseverance for those enduring long-term treatments and the trials of their illness. Lord, I pray for hope and encouragement for those who feel discouraged or hopeless due to their health condition. Father, I request protection and health for those at risk of infections or complications related to their illness or treatment. Lord, I pray for a smooth and speedy recovery for those who have recently undergone surgery or other medical procedures. Father, I seek God's healing and comfort for elderly individuals dealing with age-related health issues. Lord, I ask for mental clarity and stability for those whose illness affects their cognitive functions or mental health. Father, I request miraculous healing for those with conditions that seem beyond medical help, asking God to demonstrate his power and grace. Lord, I ask for spiritual comfort and peace for those feeling distant from God due to their illness or suffering. Father, I pray for the healing of strained relationships caused by illness, asking God to restore harmony and understanding. Lord, I seek God's blessing on medical research and advancements that they may lead to new treatments and cures. Father, I pray for long-term patients to have strength and perseverance through their prolonged health battles. Lord, I ask for restful sleep and physical restoration for those recovering from illness or medical treatments. Father, I pray for those feeling weak or fatigued, asking God to provide them with renewed strength and vitality. Lord, I request comfort and companionship for those feeling isolated or alone due to their illness. Father, I pray for healing for specific diseases or conditions affecting individuals in your congregation or community. Lord, I seek God's assurance and hope for those in recovery that they may trust in his plans and find encouragement in their progress. Father, I ask for God's guidance and blessing on alternative or complementary therapies being used by patients. Lord, I pray for the restoration of joy and peace for those whose illness has led to emotional distress or loss of happiness. Father, I request relief from the side effects of medications or treatments, asking God to minimize their impact. Lord, I pray for emotional healing for those whose illness has caused heartbreak or distress in their personal lives. Father, I ask for God's wisdom and insight for researchers and scientists working on innovative treatments and cures. Lord, I seek God's intervention in mental health struggles, asking for peace, stability, and healing for those affected. Father, I ask God to grant joy and hope in the midst of the healing journey, helping individuals to find moments of peace and contentment. Father, we decree and declare your healing touch upon those who are suffering from illness. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. According to Isaiah 53, 5, we decree and declare strength and endurance for those battling chronic conditions. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. According to Psalm 29, 11, we decree and declare wisdom and skill for doctors and all health care providers. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. According to James 1, 5, we decree and declare peace for those undergoing surgeries or invasive procedures. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. According to John 14, 27, we decree and declare complete restoration of health for those dealing with serious illnesses. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. According to Psalm 147, 3, we decree and declare emotional and mental healing for those affected by anxiety and depression. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. According to Psalm 147, 3, we decree and declare strength, patience, and encouragement for caregivers. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. According to Galatians 6, 2, we decree and declare spiritual renewal and comfort for those whose faith has been shaken. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. According to Isaiah 40, 29, we decree and declare provision for those struggling with financial burdens due to medical expenses. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. According to 
Philippians 4.19. We decree and declare effectiveness in medical treatments and therapies. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. According to Psalm 126.3, we decree and declare clarity and wisdom for making important health decisions. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. According to Proverbs 3.6, we decree and declare relief from pain and discomfort for those suffering severely. He took up our pain and bore our suffering. According to Isaiah 53, 4, we decree and declare healing and comfort for sick children and their families. Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. According to Matthew 19, 14, we decree and declare perseverance for those enduring long-term treatments. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. According to James 1, 2, we decree and declare hope and encouragement for those feeling discouraged, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. According to Isaiah 40, 31, we decree and declare protection and health against infections or complications. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. According to Psalm 91, 4, we decree and declare a smooth and speedy recovery for those who have undergone surgery. I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. According to Jeremiah 30, 17, we decree and declare healing and comfort for elderly individuals with health issues. Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he, I am he who will sustain you. According to Isaiah 46, 4, we decree and declare mental clarity and stability for those affected by cognitive or mental health issues. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. According to 2 Timothy 1, 7, we decree and declare miraculous healing for conditions that seem beyond medical help. Jesus replied, what is impossible with man is possible with God. According to Luke 18, 27, we decree and declare spiritual comfort and reassurance for those feeling distant from God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. According to Psalm 34, 18, we decree and declare healing for strained relationships caused by illness. Let all that you do be done in love. According to 1 Corinthians 16, 14, we decree and declare blessing on medical research and advancements. The Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. According to Proverbs 2, 6, we decree and declare endurance for those with long-term health battles. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. According to Psalm 121, 3, we decree and declare restful sleep and physical restoration for those recovering from illness. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. According to Matthew 11, 28, we decree and declare renewed strength and vitality for those feeling weak or fatigued. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. According to Isaiah 40, 29, we thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and for the hope we have in you. We commit all our needs, our prayers, and our hopes into your hands, trusting that you will provide according to your will. In the name of Jesus Christ, our healer and redeemer, we pray. Amen.